Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to take a look at the brand new Volsteed Mink. I'm very excited to see that Volsteed has finally released this. I checked it out at Blade Show. Super exciting because this is an EDC fixed blade. It's a smaller fixed blade that should be very easy to carry. Comes with uh, this nice Kydex sheath. There is a drainage hole on this side. Tons of lashing points. It comes with a small tech lock style clip. I'll show you all that when I pan down if I remember. But I slapped an Alti clip on there. I, that's my preferred means to clip to the pocket or clip inside the waistband, one of the two. You do have a nice little push off point right here. Nice positive retention, no rattle. So here's the blade. You're still on this one's Nitro V. Uh, I've tested, I think I've couple now from Volsteed and I've been pretty impressed. I don't know if they're calling this a drop point or a clip point because it, it kind of comes up right there. Hopefully y'all can see that good and we'll have better shots or I'll throw some b-roll in here. Um, you have two sets of jimping that are very well done. They're very grippy. If you like jimping, they're very nice and grippy. So if you choke back right here on the knife, you're not going anywhere or if you want to choke up like this to better get some force into the into whatever you're cutting so you don't slide on that blade or if you're coming up right here to push down you know you're, you're definitely going to better get some solid grip on there and like all Volsteed knives I've ever gotten out of box this thing came wicked 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 sharp it does have a sharpening choil however it just barely clears the plunge line but uh, this is a fixed blade, so it's a lot easier to fix a sharpening choil on a fixed blade than a folder because you don't really have to worry about stop pins or anything or closed stop pins. You have a pretty bulky, bulky tip there to pierce into things. You're not going to re really better do drag cuts with that tip because you would have to sit vertical with the knife to get that tip down on the things. Uh, but you could definitely use that belly to pull through things, especially with that jimping right there. Some quick specs. These are coming in at 7.13 inches long with a 3.27 inch blade. Your grip area from here to the back is 3.7 inches. And the behind the edge thickness on this particular knife is around 14 to 15 thousandths behind the edge. So it should perform really, really well. Let's find out. Like all Volsteed knives, this knife came with a ridiculously sharp edge. It is slicing so very well, and the blade geometry is definitely helping that out. It's always a pleasure when I get a knife that's nice and sharp, and this one has a good bit of bite to it, it felt like it at least. We'll find out pretty quick once we get to the uh, sisal rope or the denim, one of the two, but so far so good. And like I said earlier, or I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but being that it has a high tip like that, it's kind of hard to get the actual tip down on what you're cutting. But all these other cuts are excellent for a flat cutting surface. And this thing is passing through this material so very fast. I know it's sped up, but I was very, very impressed with how fast it's going through this material. And uh, the denim, yeah, I can feel the bite. It's blasting through it and probably one of the best budget EDC fixed blades I've tested in a long time. Uh, it's basically push cutting this half inch sisal rope and it feels like uh, cutting through butter right now. I'm just trying to decide whether I want to push in in a pinch grip. I think I swap every now and again with the pointer finger grip which is very easy to do because of how grippy that jimping is. But my hands are a little, you know, jacked up, so it's kind of hard for me to uh, hold a knife in one grip for a long time. <clears throat> but it's blasting through the sisal rope, and I think we, we get through 80 cuts before I run out of uh, rope. And, yeah, it's definitely still super sharp. We'll test that edge once we're done, but definitely, definitely impressed. <clears throat> like I said, definitely probably the best uh edc fixed blade at this price point is done so far that i've tested <laughs> doesn't surprise me at all though because Fosti usually does a really good job with their heat treats and i'm very glad they didn't 
uh, grind this one very thick or anything because you know, it wouldn't really make sense. I really hope they come out with, say, a spear point. That would be remarkable. I'd buy more than one of them. This would make an excellent, excellent Christmas present for somebody or, uh, you know, just a gift for yourself. <laughs> so this is it in the pocket with the Alti clip. I had it in the front pocket. Uh, it goes in nicely and uh, it, it held it well. I, I didn't, I sat down with it, didn't really poke me or anything. It was good. Now we're going to test the ergos and uh, see how well that edge wants to bite and as you can see it's just peeling this like like an apple <laughs> and it's pretty darn comfortable that texture from the frag micarta is nice it's uh allowed me to get a good bit of force into this wood and if you needed to make feather sticks you could most certainly do it i had no hot spots to speak of um, now the handle's not as thick as i would like a, a fixed blade to be but I didn't fatigue myself doing this, so uh, I would say it's still a, a, a really well done uh, handle. Now I just want to <laughs> show that you can get some fine detail work, kind of making a notch into this piece of wood. You can get right down on it and that excellent edge is really shining right here. And this is after all the cutting too. Sorry if y'all can hear my dog, of course he knew I was recording, so he decided he would let y'all know what he thought about the situation. But yeah that uh jump the jumping up there up front really gives you a good purchase to do this type of stuff and i'm also just trying to test that edge stability by you know scraping back and forth and so far so good um nice and comfortable it's easy to wield the knife it's not overly cumbersome it's not heavy it's it's at that right um right weight now i figured it's a fixed blade which is well do some batoning um, and this is about the biggest, about inch and a half uh, logs is about the biggest you're going to want to do. And I thought it was doing great. Um, you know, it's not the thickest fixed blade, so you're not going to want to try to do any really knotty pieces, even though these have a few small knots in them. All right, let's check that edge out. It still feels really good. Yeah. I gotta say, I'm super impressed with how this one performed. Yeah, still nice and sharp too. No hangups. Very nice. Yeah, I can drop that back to raise it sharp again. I talked about it. I, I added the Alti clip to this Kydex sheath, but it comes with the smaller tech lock style system where you can adjust it for different lengths, different size belts and it snaps in there you just press this to release that um, i just prefer the alti clip besides the knife i will also link this alti clip if that's something you're interested in uh, so you'll have the right size during all my cutting these handles were pretty darn comfortable they're just flat handle scales uh, they do have chamfers going all the way around them you do have a large lanyard hole uh, my medium sized hands I get a nice four finger grip you could probably fit your large hands on here as well and I gotta say this jimping definitely definitely does its job your thumbs not going anywhere if you want to come up here on it to push into something it's not going anywhere and if you want to do a finesse cut your finger your fingers not going anywhere here either these scales are bolt on construction so if you needed to uh, take them off to clean underneath them for some reason if they got wet or something you could even though nitro v is uh, very corrosion resistant and if you go with the black one you're definitely not gonna have to worry about that corroding on you um, they do have the non-coated blade if that's your thing whatever you, I, I don't really care uh, this coating held up really nicely as you can see um, after the batoning and after all the other stuff that I've done it might have worn some of the wood into the, the coating, but no metal showing at all. Quick weight without the sheath is 2.825 ounces, and with the sheet and the Alti Clip is 4.6 ounces. Some quick size comparison with the Artisan Sea Snake and the SE Azula. Next to the Kaiser Baby and the CRKT Graham Razel. Probably the closest size reference I have is the White River Backpacker, and the Bradford Guardian 3 is a little bit smaller. And for my nitpicks and complaints, I would have loved to see this sharpening choil a little bit bigger. 
But like I said earlier, on a fixed blade, it's a lot easier to fix yourself. Uh, you don't have to worry about, about that blade closing on a folder. I'm not a huge fan of this deep, uh, deep belly fixed blade, but um, it did perform very, very well. And at this price point, coming in at $69, it is definitely one I could highly, highly recommend. Only things to make it any better would be contoured scales, but even that, it's still nice and comfortable, and that would also raise the price. But overall, I think it's a good looking knife. It performed outstanding. It's an excellent EDC package. It's got a really, really nice positive sheath, positive click on the sheath, and yeah. Only thing I would have done different with the sheath is possibly make it a fold over taco style sheath just to keep it the footprint even smaller however you know this one functions excellently and it goes into the front pocket really easily as well so there you go if you're interested in picking up one of these i will have a link down in the description it will be an affiliate link so if you want to help support what i do on this channel and you're already planning on picking up the knife that is one way you could do so uh, you don't have to, but if you do, I do appreciate it. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute, absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah.